Hi, this is Alan Butler with Schnebly Hill Media, and I wanted to take just a moment to show you how to use Google Drive for your business as a media server. Each of our clients, when we create media files for them for review and final delivery, gets a Google Drive account that we set up just to store their media files. And it makes it very easy for them to be able to share and collaborate and easily find and access all of their media from one location from anywhere in the world that has an internet connection. The first thing that you want to do is go to a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome and this can be done with any web browser. And this is helpful if you're already logged into an email account and Google won't allow, you don't feel like signing out of your existing email so you can continue to work. You just open up over here in the top right corner these three little dots and open up a new incognito window and then click your home key. My home key is google.com or you can just type into the uh, URL area here, google.com and then go to sign in and use the login information that we provide you when we send you the initial email. And what you'll see once you've logged in is up here at the top right corner, you'll see these nine little squares. You just select Google Drive, and that will take you to the media server that we've created for you. Now, in this case, you can see that we've created a bunch of video and photography files for this client. and each of these folders contains photos and videos and stuff like that. So the first thing is how do you download the files to your local machine? Well, if we just find the file that we want, let's say that we want this nice architectural image, the first thing that you do is just click it once and it'll highlight it as you can see, and then you right click it and you can click download right here. Now, if it's not a very large file it will just ask you where you want to save it or it'll automatically save it into your downloads folder which is right up here if you're on a Windows machine if your browser is uh, got its defaults set to place your downloads in that folder automatically sometimes if you try to I'm gonna cancel that and go to go back to the root folder here on my drive and say that you want to download this video now this is a rather large file so when you click download it's gonna say hey we can't scan this file for viruses because it's too large do you want to download it anyway uh, yeah you can go ahead and download it anyway and it'll ask you where you want to save it uh, but the next thing, that, let's say that you want to find a particular photo, and you can always search in Google Drive as well. So if you just go up here to search and you type the name of a file or a name of a project, it'll make it really easy for you to do a search and find exactly what you're looking for. So let's say that we have found uh, this image that we like. You click it once, you right click it, and then you want to share this file with someone. Now you can do that a couple of different ways. If you click on share, you're going to pop up this little this little pop up here and you could just type in the email address of the person that you want to share it with right here and click done. The only problem with that is that if that is not a Gmail address, then they're going to have some troubles accessing the file. What we like to do instead is click advanced and you'll see here, here's a link to share it. Here's who currently has access. And then so a couple of other options that we're not going to deal with right now. So what we do is we go to change who has access. And you have three options. You have on, public, on the web, which is basically putting it out there in the wild, which we don't recommend that you do. You have on, anyone who has the link can access it with no sign-in required to any Google account. This is great for businesses who have their own URLs uh, for their business. And off, it's only shared with very specific people. We recommend that you select on, share it with anyone to whom you send the link. And then you can click save and you just copy this link right here and you email it to whoever you want. And they don't have to have a Gmail account or a Yahoo account or anything like that. They can access the file from any email server, which is really, really good and useful. So that's how you can share your files with other people. 
And let's say that you want to upload files. Okay, you go back to the root folder of my drive. You can just click here or up here. And you can just create new folder. And you can name your folder. Let's say it's uh, Winter Photos 2020. Create. And then you double click it to open it. And you can go to your folder system and grab any kind of images. Let's say that I'm going to grab these three images and just drag them and drop them. That's it. And it'll begin to upload. And there they are. It's done. Now I can right click them. I can share them. I can rename them. I can download them again, whatever I want to do. And now I have a new folder that says winter photos. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this client doesn't want those on there. I'm going to empty the trash just to save space. If you trash a bunch of items, you should go up here and click empty your trash every once in a while so it's not using your space. So one of the good things about Google Drive too is that it, this one, uh, the free accounts come with 15 gigabytes of free storage and you can fit a lot of photos and videos on here uh, without having to pay anything. And if you want to upgrade, you can just click buy storage right here. And the storage for Google drive is really, really inexpensive compared to their competitors like Dropbox or a couple of those other ones. Um, one other thing that I wanted to share with you, which is kind of neat is let's say that you want to work collaboratively on a file with other people. And so let's say that you're going to be looking at this video right here. So you can double click the video and it will come up like this and begin to play. Now one thing that you'll want to take note of is the the resolution on this does not look very good. That's because Google Drive will will stream the video in a low quality uh, at first. But if you go down here to this little gear it's telling you that HD is available and it's on auto HD, which it's just going to play in whatever real resolution it wants. So if you click this and you say, I want straight up 1080p HD, then you click play. It's going to give you much higher resolution. Now that's part A. Part B is, well, let's say that you have shared this file with different team members and you want everybody to review it and you want them to say, oh, I like this and I don't like that. And, oh, this person doesn't look good. Let's cut this out of here. Um, what you do is you go up here and you see this little plus in a square says add a comment. Now me, because I'm signed into this server, I can click here and it says Alan Butler and I can type in... Um, Let's remove this shot and I click comment. Now anyone that you've shared the link with and who was able to view this file can click and add their comments and you can have a list of comments from different team members. Uh, if you need to send files up to senior leadership to review, they can very easily point out what they like and don't like about the project that you sent them and, and changes can be easily made and shared among uh, team members. Now, the person who made the comment can resolve the issue or delete the comment. They are the only ones who can do that. If you make the comment, you're the only one who can resolve it or delete it. So just keep that in mind. And that is how you use Google Drive as a media server for your business to keep all of your files organized, share easily, you can send these to your marketing agency to run social media campaigns, upload uh, video files to Facebook without linking to YouTube, which Facebook certainly doesn't like that. They want to host their own video files, so that helps you. And uh, this is really a really good platform to keep all of your uh, media stored and organized and in good condition until Jesus returns and destroys the Internet. And that's all I have for you today. I hope that it's been helpful and useful, and I hope you'll have a great day. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.